Hi, Dr. Brian Heberlin here with Lexington ENT and Allergy. And if you've had an ultrasound of your thyroid uh, recently, there's a good likelihood that these things will be classified on the ultrasound under this TI RADS system. And that's just a system where radiologists have gotten together and they've put a scoring system um, to try to help guide whether biopsies are needed or not needed on those specimens. And so the TIRAD system, there's a, a TIRADS 1 through 5. And a TIRADS 1 usually just means it's a cyst, and that's purely cystic, totally fluid. Those are not cancer and don't need to be biopsied. Um, then they're, they're going to score um, the thyroid nodule on several different criteria. So um, it's whether it's you know, cystic or solid, whether it's something called hypoechoic, meaning it would be kind of a dark um, on, on the ultrasound compared to the surrounding, t surrounding thyroid tissue. They'll score it on whether there's um, microcalcifications within it. So if there's little dots of calcium, that certainly makes us more concerned, and so that gets a point score. They'll score it on whether it has irregular margins, and they'll score it on what's called whether it's taller than wide. And so that means on an axial ultrasound where the probe is running this way, does the nodule, uh, if it extends more out than, than, width, than uh, its width, then that can be another more worrisome sort of sign. And so they'll add up the point score for all those things and, you know, again, put you in a, in a, a category of one through five. So um, a lot of times we'll see threes and fours, some fives certainly, and that does not, even though a five may say, you know, highly suspicious or whatever the wording is on that report, this certainly doesn't mean it's cancer. Um, it just means, hey, that's a little more worrisome. We need to do a needle biopsy on this one earlier, uh, even when it's relatively small, rather than letting it grow to a, a bigger size. On some of those lower scores, you may not wait till two and a half centimeters before you want to do a biopsy, whereas if it were a TIRADS-5, you would want to biopsy those at a centimeter or more and follow them um, carefully. So the TIRAD system, all it's really trying to do is to let um, the people that are evaluating that thyroid nodule, your surgeon or, uh, or the endocrinologist, know this is more concerning than others and a biopsy is indicated. Now the biopsy, in my mind, trumps the TIRAD score. So if the biopsy comes back, even on a TIRADS-5, the biopsy comes back, hey, this is benign, you can feel pretty comfortable that that is truly benign given the accuracy of the biopsies. Um, and so TIRAD system helpful in determining when you need to biopsy a nodule, but the biopsy is the better indicator of when something's malignant or not. So if it's TIRADS-5, which is more suspicious, but the, the biopsy is, is, is a, Bethesda 2, which I've talked about in another video, um, then those, you can feel pretty comfortable just observing those and that's not gonna pose a great risk to that person's uh, to, you know, life expectancy and so forth. So I uh, hope that helps. Uh, you'll see that on most ultrasounds. So it's something that uh, is a little newer um, and it can cause a lot of confusion and consternation with patients. Thank you.